All right, example A, find the area of the trapezoid. So here we have a trapezoid that has a height of 11. So 11 is going to be our H. And then base 1 is 8 units. And base 2 is 14 units. So we have our area equals base 1 plus base 2 divided by 2, so the average of the two bases, times the height. So let's plug in our values. We have 8 plus 14 over 2 times 11. Well, 8 plus 14, that's 22. Divided by 2, that's 11. So now we have 11 times 11. 11 times 10 is 110, so 11 times 11 would be 121. 121 square units. That wasn't so rough. All right, example B. Example B, find the area of the trapezoid. So again, we're going to have area equals base 1 plus base 2 over 2 times h. Well, here our h is 9. Our base 1 is 15. And our base 2 is 23. So this is really the same question, just different numbers, right? So we have 15, because these are the numbers I don't want to do in my head. 15 plus 23 over 2 times 9. 15 plus 23 would be 38. 38 over 2 would be 17. So we have 17 times 9. Well, 17 times 10 would be 170. And 170 minus 1 less 17 would be 153. So we can check my math, but I think that's probably right. 17 times 9. Yep, 153. 153 square units. There we go. Example C. Example C, find the perimeter and area of the trapezoid. OK, so we need to find the distance around the outside and the overall area. Now, what we don't know on this one is what the base is yet. However, this little 45 degree thing right here is pretty important. If this is 45, and this is 90, which it must be since a straight line is 180, and this is 90. 180 minus 90 is 90, right? Well, if we have a right angle triangle whose other angle is 45, that means this angle up here is 45. And that makes this an isosceles right triangle. So if this side is 4, then this side is 4. And we're back in the same position over here. We got a 45 degree angle. If we were to sketch in a line right here, we'd have another 45 degree angle, or 90 degree angle. So this one up here would then have to be 45. Right? So this here is going to be an isosceles right triangle as well. So this is going to be the same here and here. And this is going to be the same here and here. Whoops. My bad. Not there. Here. There we go. Good. Now, this height right here. It's going to be the same as this height over here. So this unit, or this dimension, is 4. That means this dimension is 4. So these two ends are the same. And if our vertical, or our length of our top, base 1 up here, is 8 units, then it's going to be 8 units down here as well, right? If I go straight down on both sides. So then what I have for my base 2, I have equals. 8 plus 4 plus 4, right? This entire base from here to here is that center 8 units plus 4 for each end. So our base 2 is going to be 16 units. So now we've got base 1, base 2, and height. So we can calculate our area. Area is base 1 plus base 2 over 2 times h. So we got 8 plus 16, or 24 over 2, that's 12. We've got 12 times height, which is 4. So that's 48. So our area is 48. And then anytime you have an isosceles right triangle, our sides are always in the ratio of 1 to 1 to square root of 2, right? Hopefully you all saw that other earlier lesson on right angle triangles. 1 to 1 to square root of 2 if these two sides are both the same. That means that if these two sides are 4 and 4, that this side is 4 square roots of 2. 
So we have 4 square roots of 2 plus 4 square roots of 2. So our perimeter is 4 roots of 2 plus 4 more square roots of 2 plus 8 across the top plus 16 across the bottom. So 4 square roots of 2 and another 4 square roots of 2, that's 8 square roots of 2 plus 8 plus 16, that's 24. So our perimeter is 8 square roots of 2 plus 24. And we're done.